Oh, this is easy, and I'm going to show you mesh fusion. All right, um, this dog here is not dynamesh or anything. And if you look here in the back of the toes here, they are already made on the dog, but the ones in the front um, are not made yet. Okay, I kind of smooth them out, just kind of mimic that I never finished them. Now I want to put some in the front here without having to recreate this. Well, we're going to use mesh fusion. All right, we don't want to wop up the jam too much so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn off the cemetery here and we're gonna go to the back because these are where the toes are at the fronts are all smoothed out so we're gonna come back here let's turn on polyframes so I want to get a good even cut through here let's say maybe right here yeah that looks good and what I want to do is I want to just select one here. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to uh, I'm going to duplicate this one real quick. All right, now we got two of them, but they're both facing the same way. All right. So, because sometimes the front legs and the back legs might be a different width. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a left and a right. Okay, so. Uh, we're going to come down here to the deformation and we're just going to marry, mirror one copy. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rename this one here. Left. Select this one here. Rename this one. Right. Then we're going to come over to the brush here, and we're going to select some kind of insert brush. We're going to go to the I for insert, and we'll select it, uh, insert cylinder. Then we're going to select it again. Then we're going to come down here and create a uh, insert brush. All right. This is the multi mesh, so we'll have two of these. So I'll press here. Now make sure that you're, before I do this, you want them to have them, you know, facing in the direction. So hold the shift key and snap it. And we want to select the uh, insert multi mesh. When we do this, there's our new mesh. Now, when I press the M on the keyboard, we got a left and a right. So, with that said, let's go ahead and bring this one back. And here's the other one here. And let's, let's turn on solo real quick. And it, it'll do that. Um, it's because I mirrored that. So we're just going to delete that one because that one's messed up. All right. The next step is we want to uh, bring the leg here to the front or the paw where the toes are at. So I'm going to select here. I'm going to select kind of high here. And I'm going to select just this one here. Then what I want to do is come down here to uh, polygroups, group visible. Let's get a different color so it comes up. Now let's see which one we got selected. We need the right one. So I'm going to drag this out. Due to the screen recorder, and it's going to kind of. Let's do that one more time. Normally it don't hide like that, but uh, it's doing it this time. Then we're going to rotate this. Hold the shift key, going to move it. And we may need to scale this just a little bit. Everything's looking all right. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to hold the control key, swap like we're going to do the mask once, and do it again. And you can see it fused it together. So what we're going to do is group visible here, and we're going to do the same for this side 
other side. Something like this. All right, I'm not going to get perfect, so you'll get the hint. Then we're going to group visible. And this is the left side. Press that again just to make sure I got that. Drag that out. Let's do that again. A little bit bigger. Rotate that. I'm going to hold the shift key just a little bit. I'm going to need a little bit of scale in here. Move that back. And move that over just a little bit. Then we're going to swap twice. Go ahead and turn off the polyframes, and now we got the toes from the back. They are now on the front. It might need a little bit of tweaking, but uh, I think it's the idea. And you can see it's uh, didn't really mess up the geometry. If you wanted, you know, maybe go a little bit step further, and you could always go up down here and use the. Uh, Q remesher plugin and that's under the geometry and if you want to do that go a little bit a step further but this is one way that you can kind of uh, keep the detail um, this is unlike the dynamesh so so when you're done and you want to use this on another dog just make sure that you save this brush out and you go to the brushes here and you can save it right here and you can use it on any other dog or anything else anyway thank you very much